Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about accelerator theory of investment or we can say the accelerator principle for UGC net. So what is accelerator? According to Samuelson, accelerator is the ratio of change in investment due to change in consumption demand. Means according to Samuelson, accelerator mainly tell us how much investment change due to change in consumption demand. As we know when consumption demand change or we can say that when consumption demand increase then in order to meet this increased demand firm has to invest. And Samuelson accelerator mainly tell us how much investment change due to change in consumption demand. And formula of calculating investment according to Samuelson V equal to delta I over delta C. Here delta I is change in investment and delta C is change in consumption which mainly tell us how much investment change due to change in consumption demand. But according to Hicks, accelerator is the ratio of change in investment due to change in income or output. Means Hicks accelerator mainly tell us how much investment change due to change in output or due to change in income. But Samuelson accelerator mainly tell us how much investment change due to change in consumption. Don't be confused meaning of both accelerator is same. As we know initially income change due to change in this income uh, a consumption change obviously when people have more income they will consume more initially income change due to change in income consumption change and due to change in consumption investment also change. Either we can say that change in investment due to change in income or output or we can say that change in investment due to change in consumption meaning of both accelerator is same. Formula of Hicks accelerator is delta I over delta Y. Here delta I is change in investment and delta Y is change in income or change in output which mainly tell us how much investment change due to change in income or output. In some book you can see formula of Hicks investment is this. Uh, change in K over change in Y. Here change in Y is change in output or change in income and change in K, K means change in capital. And Hicks accelerator formula also tell us capital output ratio means how much capital we use for particular amount of output. Now we are going to talk about assumptions of this principle. First assumption is absence of excess capacity in consumer goods industry. Here we assume there is no extra capacity in consumer goods industry. Constant capital output ratio. As we know, capital output ratio mainly tell us how much capital we use for particular amount of output. In this principle, we assume capital output ratio will remain constant. It will not change. Increased demand is assumed to be permanent. Whatever demand will increase, it will be assumed permanent demand, not seasonal demand. As we know, seasonal demands are temporary demand because it increased for few time periods. Uh, supply of funds and other input is quite elastic. That means we can um, change uh, funds and input as per requirement. Capital goods are perfectly divisible. Means we can divide capital goods at any point without losing its value. Now we understand this principle with the help of this table. First column we have time period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Second column we have output or income. Third column we have capital requirement. Means uh, how much capital we need for a particular amount of output means what is capital output ratio how we can calculate capital output ratio as we earlier discussed Hicks accelerator also tell us capital output ratio here delta y is a change in output or we can say the change in income and delta k is change in capital which mainly tell us capital output ratio and here we assume capital output ratio or we can say that here we assume value of accelerator is equal to 2 means for particular amount of output we need double capital uh, for example for 100 output we need 200 capital so here we assume capital output ratio is 2 or we can say that here we assume value of accelerator is equal to 2 because Hicks accelerator also tell us capital output ratio. So value of capital output ratio is equal to 2. So in first period our output is 50. 
for this output we need double capital 50 multiply with 2 is equal to 100 in second period our output same 50 50 multiply with 2 is equal to 100 means capital requirement is 100 because we required capital double as compared to output in third period uh, output is 60 60 multiply with 2 is equal to 120 similar you can calculate other value but main thing is that for particular amount of output we require double capital because our capital output ratio or we can say the value of accelerator is equal to 2 next column we have net investment how we can calculate net investment? Net investment basically tells us change in capital stock. And formula of calculating net investment is current year capital stock minus previous year capital stock. In first period, our current year capital stock is 100. We don't know about previous year. That's why in first year, we assume net investment is equal to 0. In second year, our current capital stock is 100. We will minus with the previous year. 100 minus 100 is equal to 0. So, in second period, our net investment is equal to 0. In third period, our current capital stock is 120 minus with previous year, 120 minus 100 is equal to 20. In third period, our net investment is equal to 20. In fourth period, our current capital stock is 140. 140 minus 120 is equal to 20. So, in fourth period, our net investment is equal to 20. In fifth period, our current capital stock is 170. We will minus with it previous year. 170 minus 140 is equal to 30. So, in fifth year, year our net investment is 30. Similar, we, will, we, will, we can calculate for uh, next year. So, net investment basically tell us a change in capital stock and we can calculate a change in capital stock when we minus previous year capital stock from current year capital stock. Next column we have depreciation and we assume depreciation is constant from many year. You can see our depreciation is constant 10, 10, 10. So, uh, last column we have gross investment. How we can calculate gross investment? When we add a depreciation in investment, it will become equal to gross investment. So, in first year, our gross investment is 0. 0 is net investment. Depreciation is 10. 0 plus 10 is equal to 10. In first year, gross investment is 10. In second year, 0 plus 10 is equal to 10. In third year, 20 plus 10 is equal to 30. In fourth year, 20 plus 10 is equal to 30. In fifth year, 30 plus 10 is equal to 40. And sixth year, 0 plus 10 is equal to 10. By this way, we can calculate gross investment. Now, with the help of this investment, we will see how much our net investment change due to change in income. How we can calculate change in income when we minus current year income from previous year income? In second year, our change in income will zero because uh, current year uh, income is 50 and previous year income also 50. 50 minus 50 is equal to zero. That's why we can say that in second period change in income is zero. That's why change in investment or we can say change in net investment also zero. In third period, you can see change in income is 60 minus 50 is equal to 10. So, in third period, change in income is equal to 10. And due to this change in income, our investment changed by 20. So, here you can see change in investment is double as compared to change in income. That's why here value of accelerator will equal to 2. Next period, you can see a change in income 70 minus 60 is equal to 10. Because of this 10 change in income, our investment changed by 20. Again, you can see change in investment is double as compared to change in income. That's why value of accelerator will equal to 2. Similar, you can see next case, change in income 85 minus 70 is equal to 15. 15, uh, because of this 15 change in income, our investment, uh, our net investment change by 30. Again, you can see change in investment is double as compared to change in income. In last year, you can see change in income is 0, 85 minus 85 is equal to 0. That's why change in investment is also 0. But main thing you can see a value of accelerator is 2 because you, here you can see change in investment is double as compared to change in income or output. And this is mainly our accelerator principle. According to this principle means this principle mainly want to say how much investment change due to change in income or output. Now we will see criticism of this principle. Capital output ratio not constant. This principle assume capital output ratio always constant, but this is not a, a true. Capital output ratio change as per requirement, not always constant. 
रिसोर्सिस आर नॉट इलास्टिक अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रिंसिपल रिसोर्सिस आर ऑलवेज इलास्टिक बट दिस इज नॉट ट्रू रिसोर्सिस आर इलास्टिक टिल द फुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट एज वी नो आफ्टर फुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट रिसोर्सिस आर नॉट अवेलेबल नेक्स्ट इज डिमांड इज नॉट परमानेंट दिस प्रिंसिपल अज्यूम डिमांड इज परमानेंट बट दिस इज नॉट ट्रू डिमांड इज नॉट ऑलवेज परमानेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सीजनल डिमांड सीजनल डिमांड इज नॉट परमानेंट डिमांड नेक्स्ट इज एक्सिलेटर वर्क इफ क्रेडिट इज इजिली अवेलेबल अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रिंसिपल एक्सिलेटर विल वर्क इफ क्रेडिट आर इजिली अवेलेबल फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पज बट दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल ना समाइम क्रेडिट आर नॉट इजिली अवेलेबल लास्ट इज एबसेंस ऑफ एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इन कंज्यूमर गुड्स इंडस्ट्री दिस प्रिंसिपल अज्यूम देर इज एबसेंस ऑफ एक्सेस कैपेसिटी इन कंज्यूमर गुड्स इंडस्ट्री बट दिस इज नॉट ट्रू समाइम कंज्यूमर गुड्स इंडस्ट्री हैव कैपेसिटी हैव एक्स्ट्रा कैपेसिटी so this is all about accelerator principle i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care